As the refugee crisis in Europe is deepening by each passing day, the world has started looking for solutions for refugees' problems. But in fact, many Asian and Middle East countries, especially those neighboring the rest of Syria, Iraq and Afghanistan, have taken in far more refugees than what Europe received. India, close to Afghanistan and en route to Europe, has seen the influx of Afghan refugees for years. Lajpat Nagar, a community set up in New Delhi for refugees by the government six decades ago, has now become home for thousands of Afghan refugees. On both sides of the central street, called by many as Kabul Street, there are several Afghan restaurants, supermarkets and medical shops. The Indian government has recently granted Indian citizenship to 4,300 refugees from Afghanistan and Pakistan. One of the beneficiaries is 31-year-old Nazib Ullah, who came with his wife and two kids to India in 2013 and started Afghan General Store in partnership with an Indian friend. Now, Nazib doesn't want to return to his country as everything is going well with him in India. We don't want to go back for now. We want our kids to complete their studies and make a good career here. When I'm thinking of going back, if the situation will get normal there. Till now, I'm doing well here. India is like my home country. I don't have any problem here. 17-year-old Abdul Salim fled his home two years ago after coming to India, he got jobs at a money exchange and tour operator shop in Delhi. Salim was not planning to go back as the situation in Afghanistan shows no sign of improvement. Whatever money we had earned there, we brought here, leaving our property unsold. We could not have time to sell our property because the situation was getting worse over there. As now, people say that there is new government in place there, but they might not have seen the condition on ground. It looks nice sitting far away, but in reality, the situation there is getting worse by each passing day. 28-year-old Muhammad Yusuf, who worked as a translator in Afghanistan, came to India last month with his wife and siblings and he's planning to take his parents to India. I left my parents there. They might also come here because that place is not good. People kill each other there because of Taliban and other militant groups. My parents will also come. While most of the fled are reluctant to go back, they are not fit well in their host country. Most of them are rushing about job-seeking. Some of the refugees have to resort to the UNHCR, the UN's refugee agency. This is a family of six who left Afghanistan for Pakistan 20 years ago and came to India in 2008. But no matter where they are, they have been left without decent education, health care and jobs. They've had to rely on the selling of household items to tide over the past half a year, during which no one family member being employed. Now, the tough life forced them here and hoped that the UNHCR could listen to their rules. Our uh, passports are expired, our visa has been expired for so many years now, and uh, we, we, the only thing we have is the refugee status card from the UNHCR. And uh, under their mandate, we have some rights. So we want those rights. We are not uh, at all under the Indian government now. For Indian government, we are illegal. According to the latest UNHCR data, there are more than 200,000 refugees and asylum seekers living in India, yet only 27,000 are registered as refugee with the UN agency.